At home tonight, a seemingly small item in L.A. Mayor Garcetti's proposed budget is triggering big criticism. The mayor wants to hire more parking enforcement officers to hand out tickets at expired meters. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan tonight is live in Beverly Hills. Dave, you just talked to the mayor about this controversial plan. Well, that's right, Ken Lena. He told us this won't mean more tickets for parked motorists and it won't mean any additional revenue to the city. We'll hear from him in just a minute. But all of this started when the mayor proposed hiring 50 more parking enforcement officers. And some say that would mean there was a report that could mean millions of dollars in new revenue for the city. And then came charges from critics that that amounts to balancing the city's budget on the backs of parked motorists who, in many cases, are shopping at local stores. If the mayor thinks that's the answer, we need a new mayor. At Archie's Barber Shop on a busy stretch of Ventura Boulevard in Sherman Oaks with plenty of parking meters out front, the owner, Gary Carlick, in the haircutting business for over 50 years, says he knows a bad idea when he hears it. And hiring more parking enforcement officers for Los Angeles, he says, is a really bad idea since he says they're already handing out swarms of tickets along Ventura Boulevard. They're waiting around the corner to pounce on the person. Now I've seen many occasions where a person pulls up, goes into the store to get change, and by the time they're back out there and the ticket giver says, I'm sorry, I've punched it in, I can't change it. In fact, the leaders of a proposed ballot initiative for next year believe Angelinos are so angry about issues like this that it could spur a parking ticket uprising among voters. The public has said enough enough of this and this is about how much more money we can generate it's not about getting compliance they always say it's about compliance they always say it's about safety but really it's about generating revenue nobody's been given a mission of saying get more money out of folks critics charged the new enforcement hires could generate up to five million dollars in additional revenue but mayor garcetti who stopped to talk to us about this outside a speaking engagement in beverly hills says the parking ticket rebellion may be premature since he says the new parking enforcement hires are not about raising revenue at all, it's about keeping costs down. But essentially now we have so many people working overtime that that is more expensive than having a few more people who are both going to cover that overtime as part-time workers. But we also have a lot of people retiring, so it's keeping the level steady, nothing more, nothing less to get us through a tough year. But activist Jay Bieber of the Los Angeles Parking Freedom Initiative says for one of America's great cities, there are certainly more productive ways of raising revenue than sticking it to parked motorists. That The city has not generated any new jobs in the last decade or more. and. Part of the reason is this kind of attitude, which is, you know, how much can we, when we ding somebody for a parking ticket? You know, how much can we ding somebody for, you know, rolling a stop sign? How, you know, how much can we get people? And when you give people that, added, that message, they take that message and they go elsewhere. We're working with a lot of those leaders in Sherman Oaks and other places to rethink how we're going to do parking. Uh, can't we give people a reminder on their smartphone? Your ticket's about to uh, expire, your meter's about to expire. Give people the ability to add a couple more uh, quarters through their own phone. This shouldn't be a gotcha culture, and that's what we're looking at. We're sitting down with them. I think we can do this probably quicker without even a ballot initiative. Well, but if there is a ballot initiative on the on the ballot next year, it could be pretty a pretty interesting election because there's another possible ballot proposition that would allow the city to raise billions of dollars to fix crumbling streets and sidewalks that could also be before the voters next year. We're live in Beverly Hills. Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News.